I want to quickly show you how to um, do stats and also plot data using your graphing calculator like a TI-84 or similar. So the first thing you need to do is enter all of your data into a list and to do that you're going to click your stat button, highlight edit and hit enter, pick the list that you want to use. So L1 is your first list, L2 is your second list and so on. So since I have nothing in L1 I'll just use this one. So you're going to enter your data and hit enter and that'll give you your first data point and then continue like this. So once you've got your data entered in your list, you then want to look for things like, you know, what's the mean, what's the median, what are the quartiles. So to do that, you hit stat again. You want to highlight calc and one variable stats and then hit enter. Tell it the name of the list that you want to find the stats of. So because our data is in list one, uh, we'll use that. But if you want to get something in list two, um, you'd hit second two, and that would enter the name of list two here. Um, so tell it the name of the list that you want to calculate the stats of, and hit enter. We're not using a frequency list, so just leave that blank, and then when you get to calculate, hit enter. And it will tell you all the basic stats that you want to know. So up here we've got the mean that we care about. This is the sum of all your data and the sum of the squares of your data, which we should ignore. And this is the corrected sample standard deviation, S, that we want. Sigma is the standard deviation used for probability density functions, which you do not want, so use this S row. It tells you how many you know, data points you had, and if you scroll down, um, the smallest and largest observations, the quartiles, and the median. So all of the basic information you want to know. And now if you want to look at that information in a plot, you're going to hit you want to go to stat plot here, so you'll hit second and then this button, the y equals button to get to the stat plots. So what you're going to do is turn one of these plots on by hitting enter, highlighting on and hitting enter, selecting the type of plot that you want, which is most likely um, this cityscape for histograms or these for box and whisker plots. So I'm going to go highlight a histogram. Tell it the, the list that you want to plot, so our information is still in L1. And now to see the picture, you're going to hit graph. Now you may notice that our histogram doesn't really show up here because all of our data is larger than 10, and by default this is like a 10 by 10 window. So what you have to do is go to window and adjust your min and max settings here um, to make sense. So our smallest data is like 10 or something, so I'm going to start x at 5 and stop x somewhere above what the max was, 22. So 25 should work. Uh, because this is a histogram, it's all going to be above the uh, x-axis, so we can use y equals 0 or negative 1 and you know nothing higher than 5. So you may need to adjust your window by hand to get a histogram that fits in the screen well, so that may take some experimentation. And now similarly if I want to see a box plot of my data, I could either you know go back to the stat plot screen and change the type of plot by you know going over here highlighting the box and whisker plot and hitting enter, or what I could do is um, turn on a second plot on top of the first one. So turn this plot on, tell it that I'd like a box and whisker plot. Um, same list, and I'll do red now. And now I should just be able to hit graph and have both of um, both of these plots sort of on top of each other, which could be useful. If you had two data lists, you could plot them on top of each other and see how different the distributions looked. So the, the final thing that you should probably know how to do is how to actually clear out a list. Um, so if you go to stat and edit, and you actually try to delete an entry, you hit clear and you hit enter, it doesn't actually get rid of that entry. Um, if you hit delete, it'll delete one entry, but you don't want to be sitting here hitting delete. So the fastest way to clear a list is to highlight the name of the list and hit clear, and then enter, and that will clear out all the information very quickly.